Merry Christmas. Hi, Nate. Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. So I had um, music playing and now it's not warm. <laughs> So I'm going to show you the apron that Alan got me to wear tonight. <laughs> I feel like Santa's little helper. Let's see if I can get it up here. Do you like my little apron? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's funny. This one? Yeah. The plug that goes in the wall. So, yeah, he surprised me with that today because I had put my jingle bracelet on and he says, Well, I got something for you to wear too. So, we did I put it on. So, these are last week's pours. Um, this was the Elise Fournier technique where you squirt the white into the puddles of paint. And this was the result I got. The coral and the gold is absolutely beautiful in this. The Naples yellow kind of stuck out quite a bit. And... This was Alan's, I think this was a floating cup. He was trying to do a negative space. It's got some great colors in there, but he doesn't like it. And this was the black and white triple ring on black and white striped background. Did get a lot of gray. But it's different. I think it'll be pretty once it's burnished. I'll get the original shine back. And that's a 20 by 20. And then Alan used Monica's strainer again. And that is how that dried. So um, I don't think I'm going to varnish this yet because I'm really thinking maybe a peacock head there or we could even do a fairy tree. Peacock. I don't know which one you want. One that goes in the wall. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Glad you could 
Hi, Kathy. It's going to be a long night. Why did we lose that? Yes, it's almost Christmas. first tonight because I'm trying to do this. Don't you, uh, me. Pressure. <laughs> like no putting, pressure. Nothing like putting pressure on you. You got enough pressure today. You can handle it. That was no pressure. Ready to pair on another device. iPad disconnected. Okay. Connected to this top H A E K M U zero and I I'm playing with the speaker, Nate. <laughs> Nate knows my problems with the speaker. I did, Maria. I was being tracked the whole time. <laughs> Next year, it's all cash. Yeah, right. Well, it's not working. Well, my idea of Christmas music in the background is a total... Well, you'll just have to sing. Well, no, for I'm two not hours. singing. We'll let everybody else sing. You guys can sing. Shirley got out today. She took her first road trip since she got sick. That's great, Shirley. Bet it feels good to get out of the house. Did you guys have a good time um, with me tracking Alan today? We had a, I, I was laughing the entire time. So if you hear jingling, it's my bracelet. It's not Santa. It's not Santa. Oh, you did a you did a That's mine. Oh, I thought that was for me. No, that's not for you. <laughs> she did a gallery wrap. Eight by twenty four to play with tonight. Yeah, I had a good time checking that checking account saying, okay, he's at Home Depot. Okay, he's at Kohl's. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh... No, did not go to AC more, Joshua. No, but I wanted you to go get me that purple red, but we can do that. The joy of technology, yeah. You play I Spy. I Spy. He keeps forgetting I have GPS tracking on the car, so. <laughs> okay, so. See, Cindy does the same thing. <laughs> Devious. So, I'm looking at the gadget tray. Oh, he's into the gadget bucket, guys. 
Hi, Carrie. You know, all day I asked him, what are you painting tonight? Oh, oh I got I got ideas. I did have ideas. Yeah, where are they? Did you they're, leave them at the store? They're in the car. <laughs> they're in the car. For future. Well, we definitely have to do our Christmas challenge for um, Crystal Lee. Yes. Um, we're going to do that probably the third painting in. Oh, so while I'm sitting here waiting for him to find a gadget... Um, Judy sent us a present today. She sent us some coasters, um, alcohol ink coasters. They're absolutely beautiful. They're so pretty. Aren't they so pretty? They're absolutely beautiful. I'm going to get into the alcohol inks. And then she did the, um, Petri dish one. So that was a beautiful surprise today. And then Alan works with um, a guy that's from Poland, and I'm Polish. So Tomas and I had a discussion one time about different Polish foods and stuff. Well, anyways, he was over in Poland for what, a month? No. No? Just, just a few weeks? Just a week. About two weeks. So he brought me back some candy from Poland, which we've all been sampling. It's marshmallow and it's chocolate covered. It tastes nothing like the candy we have here in the States. So um, it was definitely a texture shock, but it's delicious. So I'm very happy that I got something from Poland. You didn't want to try that one, huh? No. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> So, I was at the store the other day, not today, the other day, happened to run across a, a neat little gadget that I'm going to try in combination with a strainer pour. So, what I want to do is, I want to do the base strainer pour first. And canvas I have is what, 12 by 12? Yes. Okay. Um... Just going to use a regular sink, uh, sink strainer. Merry Christmas, Raphael. Uh, looking for color choices real quick. Oop, Maria's drooling. Oh, Probably Maria. over the candy. <laughs> Maria, don't be drooling. You'll get all over the screen. I'll let their imagination go on that little gadget for a few minutes. Okay, so color choices. Okay, guys, he wants colors. You pick. Prussian blue. Ooh, don't have a lot of it, but that's okay. Silver, turquoise. So I haven't used the silver in a while. Right in front of you. Bottom shelf, left hand side. Okay, Soho Silver. What else? Turquoise? Turquoise. Lucas Turquoise. Not a lot of um, you could use that um, Lucas Phalo Blue that's up there that was next to the Prussian because um, Nina wants Sapphire, so that would go with that. Is that the iridescent one? No, that's just the No, the iridescent blue. Prussian. This one is yes. Yeah. Okay, so I need a turquoise. Um... Premier's Deep Turquoise. Okay. Calling. Um, they have magenta, magenta, but I don't know what those colors. Uh, Colors matter. White. <laughs> white. We have white. We have some paints we need to mix up, too. Oh, everything needs to be filled. Rose Matter. Okay, I need, we got four colors, and of course we're going to need black, right? No, no. If you put it between the rose matter and something else, yes. Am I saying Payne's gray, mint, teal, lime green, 
You could put a sea mist pearl in there too. Sea mist pearl. It's in front of you. Right in the middle. There you go. You got enough. Okay, pearls. now we gotta choose. So are you doing a dirty pour or are you gonna layer each color? I'm gonna layer. Okay. So after that pink and make sure there's a white and a black around it because otherwise you're gonna get some purples going on. Are you putting a base coat down first? Uh, yeah. Do me a little base coat. Should I go with a base of black or white? That's up to you. Well, we've yeah, got some dark cup. I'm gonna go with a white base. So glad everybody could join us tonight. Hopefully we can provide a little entertainment, a little education. I'm surprised we have almost 80 people in here. Thumbs up guys for making it in tonight. I appreciate it so much. Uh, everybody's saying black base. Well, it's up to you. Okay. I'm going with the I'm going with the crowd. We're gonna go with a black base. So we have um, Nate and Maria as mods tonight. So if you guys um, have common questions, um, Nate and Maria can answer those for you. But if you have questions, make sure you put them in caps so we don't miss them. We'll be on till 11. Okay, so the paint choices are. And Nate and Maria, I'm not holding you hostage. If you have things to do, you make sure you go And to Monica. Them. Is Monica here? Too? Monica's oh, Monica is here. Too. Premier Deep Turquoise. Craft Smart Sea Mist Pearl. Grumbacher's Prussian Blue Iridescent. Soho Silver. Lucas Thalo Blue. Standard White with Silicone. And Soho Rose Matter. Oh, Kendra's here too. Well, the okay, gang's all rock. here. Yes. So we're gonna go with a black base. I got disconnected. I'm sorry, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm really trying to get Christmas music. Yeah, that Seamus Pearl used to be like my go-to color all the time. I'm getting better now. I'm trying to use different colors, but <clears throat> it's so easily accessible at Michael's and it mixes up really nice with the flow draw and the glue. Um, Nina, I have those strainers in my Amazon shop. And if you have a, what is it, a Dollar General that we got those at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dollar General. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll find them in there. Where did Rose find them? Family Dollar? Family Dollar, yep. Thanks, Maria. Maria just posted the Amazon shop link. Katie got her strainers today. Are you tinkering? I am tinkering. I'm really trying, boo. Me too. <laughs> Did you happen to show them your cup from representing no, the Porage Passy? No, I didn't. I showed it on the um, Parage Posse board.
Okay, the black base has been laid. Isn't it much easier to just change the gloves and try to wipe all that black paint out? Um, black paint, yes. So I hope everybody has their Christmas shopping done. Is yours done, hon? Mine? Mine's yeah. been done. Because Target's still open. Yeah, Target's open 10, till 10. 10 p.m. For those last minute shoppers. I'm not one of them. I got mine done a little earlier. My shopping was easy. I just went and bought a bag of coal. And then you mashed it up and put it into one of these for the black base. There you go. There's your Christmas present. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Just your dollar store sink strainer. Can you pull that back, hon? You got some glare on the Do camera. I? Yeah, look. I was hoping. Bring it back a couple inches. There one. you go. We have birthday people in here. Wow. Janella. Alan's birthday is Wednesday. He's going to be older than me then. Yay. Yay. <laughs> For a whole six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, five months. They're all wishing you a happy birthday, Alan. Thank you. Just getting closer and closer to that big 6-0, aren't you? Hush. <laughs> okay. Now, the order that I want to go in. Uh, I would go right. Are you going to put black in it, too? No. All right. Because so, I have a black base. Yeah, so just I'm... go in the order you're in. Okay. So we're going to go with Premier Deep Turquoise. Uh, want to be careful with that right at the end, though. That's why I was asking if you're going to put black in. Because the red and the blue next to each other. You might get well, a little murky. I think we'll be okay. Okay. We'll give it a try. You do what you want. You do you. Nate's already saying black flash. <laughs> so that was the Premier Deep Turquoise. Uh, Kelly, yes. It's 50-50 with a little bit of water to get it to that melted ice cream consistency. Followed by the Craft Smart Seamus Pearl, then the Grumbacher Prussian Blue. Soho Silver. The Lucas Thalo Blue. Yes, Pamela, Jesus' birthday is tomorrow. I put my big thank you, Jesus sign out front today. And the white. And then the Soho Rose Matter. that disperse just a little kitty we just use dish soap um uh is it palm olive oxy to yes. clean our stuff yeah palm olive oxy in fact that's what i was doing about 15 minutes before we went live was cleaning some of our gadgets yep and bottles and cups and uh surely yes um jerry's does carry ground back in your paint that's where I get mine from. Watch for those sales when you can get it for like two ninety nine. dollars 
They should be coming out with a sale pretty soon because their Christmas sales the past three weeks haven't been the greatest, but I'm watching for a nice big paint sale. Didn't you get uh, a Jerry's said watch for a sale is coming up soon? Wasn't there a notification that came in the mail? That was, yeah, that was um, for the um, easels, though. For the the Premier Purple Red I get from AC Moore. And they also have a deep turquoise that's really pretty. And it's a good quality paint. I think he does that on purpose. Who? Nate. <laughs> so what's what's he thing. doing? He just sent me something. He's he's supposed to be uh, moderating. <laughs> Mr. Nate. Ding, ding. Mr. Doodle. Mr. Um, Laura, we do all of our paint shopping through Jerry's Artorama. Um, the Soho Urban Artist Paints, the Lucas Krill, and Creative Inspirations, and Grumbacher. Um, as far as our metallics, we use all craft metallics because you can't get them in a highly pigmented tube. Um... We do use some craft paints that we're just using up right now. So we're working our way into all of Soho, Creative Inspirations, and Lucas, and probably the Grumbacher as well. Um, Mike Marchetta from Jerry's was asking me about doing um, a review for the Turner Gouache. So I'll probably uh, be bringing that in too just to try it. You know, it's hard to not buy from Jerry's. You know, you figure you could spend 35 bucks. It's free shipping, right? Because I go through that with Hobby Lobby when they have the canvas on sale, the rounds and the hexagons. And they have this really nice size canvas. It's an 8 by 16. I'll show you the size. Can I? Just pop in front of you for one sec. It's a great size. And these, you can get them on sale. I think they're three forty nine dollars when they're on sale. And they're a high-quality canvas with the gaskets. So watch Hobby Lobby for these, too. They're very nice. Sorry, honey. I won't do it again. It's okay. I'm just waiting for the paint to dissipate. You're waiting for the paint to dissipate? Is that to what dissipate. you said? Yeah. Dissipate. Oh, that's cool. Now, I could stretch this and lose some of the pattern. Can I see that for one second? I just want to see if it's going to do what you think it's going to do. It's not. It's not? No. Are you sure? I don't know. On a slippery surface? Maybe if you push hard enough. I don't know. Here it, it comes, guys. The here it comes. The secondary gadget. <laughs> secondary. Uh, Dollar Tree has been carrying these head massagers. I didn't even get to use it yet. <laughs> do you want to try it first? No. Before I put, do you want to try it after I put it in the paint? No, I have to stay away. No, not after you put it in the paint. <laughs> Head massager. So the thought is you put your head, put it around your head. Yep. Push down and it's going to expand. So you think it's going to do that on the canvas, huh? Well, we're going to see. I think we're going to have to modify it just a little to your You can point. stretch it a little bit, yeah. Bend it and see if it... 
Trina's telling you to leave it. Trina's here too. The gang's all here. The only here. one we're missing is Allie. She's probably having a good time with family. Oh, Robin says leave it. Leave it. He wants to play with it, guys. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could. No, it's so pretty. Okay. He's not going to touch it now. I, I will. Fix your middle, though. What's wrong with my middle? Skewer your middle a little bit. Because I think when you stretch it out just a little bit, you're going to have a mess. Nate wants you to play. <laughs> Do what you plan. Play. Carrie said to test it on a dry canvas first. That's I think that idea. would be fun to dip in paint and then dip it in colors and then dip it into the white and let's see what happens. With I think I need to stretch it a little before I uh, pull any more in. I got a lot of paint in that center. All right, so you've got some that are saying play, telling you to go for it. So that's your decision, Ellen. But it's it's kind of pretty. I think it would be cool just to put it on there and turn it so it puts layers in those colors. And Nicole's right. What? You never know unless you play. Let's see what we get when I stretch it a little first. I don't think they're all going to go the same time. Like one wants to come in and one wants to go out. I think we need to bend it a little bit more. So I'll work on that while you do that. Karina's like, just play with your new gadget, Alan. Yeah, I'm stretching it just a little bit out. So if he decides to, I don't know, Al, because if you, you can't bring it in. Kind of like your idea you said about I don't, I dipping don't. it in paint. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. You can do that on your next one. I could. Nate, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> I just like hearing the ding. Nate has ADD. He can't sit still and watch one thing. He's got to do other stuff at the same time. <laughs> Nate needs to go and time out. No. It's Christmas. So you got two going over the edge. Yeah. Let me see that. So. That's what I was thinking. It looked like American Indian something. Let's take it right over the edge on that. Merry Christmas, Candy. Pretty good with his gadgets, guys, don't you think? Yep. Which blue is against the black? Is that the, uh, that's this one, right? That's the deep turquoise. <coughs> Premier. <Yes. clears throat> Sorry, Premier. Yes. Premier deep turquoise.
No, Marsha, he cannot. <laughs> I take it back. Yes, he can. What? Unclog a sink. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, he finally got that fixed. Can't fix a dryer, though. That... No, we bought a new dryer. But it fit in the back of the Murano. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have to wait for delivery or... Oh, that was that was fun. Once part is a little wonky in it. This here? Yeah. Just a little. I could probably take that out a little. Just give it a little more balance. Well, we tried to fix the dryer. We ordered a new heater because that's what happened to it last time. And um, it wasn't that, so we assumed it was the thermal fuse, which meant we had to take the entire dryer apart, take so the lucky. drum out to get to the back of the dryer, and we just looked at each other and we said, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's still a little wonky there. But I'm not touching it anymore. murky in the center. Is it murky? You can put some drops of color in there to fix that. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to put that turquoise in there. Yeah, we've never attempted to fix the washer. We just buy a new one. I do like 20 loads of laundry a week with five people here. Plus his brother's disabled, so we do a lot more laundry than normal people do. Get all that paint rocket, rocket, no, nope, back and forth like this, honey. So you get that paint going to that section. Once you get it all together, then go down, shoot for that corner. <laughs> You're two figure eights. <laughs> I like eights. Yeah, I know you like eights. Um, no, he's not drying it. The torch is used to pop bubbles, and we do use silicone in our paint. So a lot of times we create cells, which are like little bubble-looking things. Um, if you're new to painting, you probably don't know what a cell is yet. But the torch is mostly used to pop the air bubbles. Oh, it wasn't making any noise. The dryer was not making any noise. It just had no heat. It's running fine. So the new one we bought, you can download the app on your smartphone. And if something goes wrong with it, it diagnoses it and sends it to your smartphone. So we have to do that yet. <laughs> okay. I can't fix the wonk over here. But I'm taking it to the drying you rack. You need to wipe all your edges first because you're dripping. You'll have puddles. I'm good at puddles. Puppy piddle puddles. It's pretty, Ellen. He's going to try that on it on his next pour um, with dipping it in color. We'll see what that comes out like. Definitely will be a soft painting. Give you a close up before it goes to the drying rack. A few cells in the middle and some cells on the edges. I love your lacing on the edges.
Hi, Alexis. Merry Christmas, hon. Hey, you guys, watch her last video making the coasters. That was cool. Um, yes, Susan, I do tiles without my drippings. Um, I use these little one-ounce medicine cups. It's the perfect amount of paint for a tile. Time to clean up my mess. On to the next mess. Yeah, you can do swipes. You can do, um, Nate did a bottle bottom pour where he put four together and had it go over onto all four tiles. That was cool. Prussian blue is almost out. Huh? Wait, you got another one right here. That was not iridescent, though. I missed something about the elf. Oh. <laughs> yes, I got Gizmo a stuffed elf for Christmas. And he had that thing in his mouth, I don't know, for how many days. He wouldn't touch any of his other toys, Nate said. Well, welcome, Grayscale Paintings. Do you have a first name? <laughs> Gray. Gray. <laughs> he does such a good job cleaning up now. He's been well trained. He's such a good grasshopper. Oh. So this week when I was doing pours, I did nine paintings this week. So you guys will have a lot to watch over the holidays. But I took the dive and finally did an ocean um, with the beach. So don't laugh. It's my first one. What do you think? I'll even bring it up closer so you can see the colors. Where's the shark? I didn't put anything in it. Dolphins. So this video will be up Wednesday. I don't know. I think Wednesday. So yeah, I was happy with that. And the one that you guys watched with the reverse swipe, a lot of people wanted to see it dry. So here it is dry. We did get more cells come up. Um, it did not crack. So there's that one. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work like we thought it was going to. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm glad more color came up on that one, too, because sometimes I get a little discouraged when the white stays and no color comes up through later. So I am jingling. <laughs> All right. So I have an 8 by 10 It's called The Edge from Jerry's Artorama. Eight, oh, it's 8 by 24 I'm losing my mind. So we're going to do a flip and drag. Good. The more the merrier. We like all the new people coming in. We're at, what, 700 and some members? 754, last I checked, I think. Facebook group, Kathy, is the Parage Posse. Mm -hmm. You'll see posts during the live. Uh, Maria will be putting them up to join our Parage Posse. Holly says she loves your flip and drag. But do we want white or do we want black? I'll let them pick. Flip and drag with black. 
Oh, black. black, black. Let's go black. Kathy's is white, but it looks like black has the uh -huh. majority. Nate, of course, Nate's got to be different. He says gray. <laughs> yeah, we're really liking the gray backgrounds lately. I should have made some more black, Alan. I made white. <laughs> That's Payne's gray there. Karen, Karen says she can't wait till tomorrow. She's going to do a flip and drag because she just got an airbrush today. Yay! So, Karen, are you going to do that? Before or after you open the presents <laughs> from Santa. From Santa. I'm all about giving gifts. I could care less if I get anything. I just like to watch people open when I get them. My son is the same way. He had fun Christmas shopping this year. He said, I don't want anything. I just want to watch you guys open your presents. I said, I'm the same way, <clears throat> but I am going to get them tomorrow morning. I'm going to be yelling, Santa came, Santa came, like at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> See how they like it. Kitty, don't be afraid of it. She says she's got her, she's had hers for a while, but she's scared. Don't be it. scared. Practice on a tile, getting that edge. Once you learn how to blow, to blow the edge out, you're good to go. It's only 25 PSI. It's not like it's going to blow the paint all over the place unless you're forcing it to. Hold it like a pencil. I'll show you when I do this. Do you want to tell them about our uh, handyman, Dan? <laughs> so we have a guy that comes to our house to do all the major work for us. Um, he insulated the, well, not insulated the garage, but put the walls up in the garage for us. In the where? Porage. Okay. After we insulated. At that time, it was a porage. Right. And he helped me run a new electric line. And he just does the stuff that Alan does not, first of all, does not have time to do. And second of all. I'd rather have Dan do it. <laughs> anyway, so I got him a gift certificate and a set of coasters for Christmas because he does so much for us and doesn't charge us, you know. So we just I just love him. He's just like the greatest guy ever. So he called and yelled at me today. Um, Alan, <laughs> Alan did like a stop and drop the gift thing. So they didn't open it while he was there. So, of course, Alan wasn't even home yet. And Dan's calling me and yelling at me. Oh, you shouldn't do that. And it was just funny. But anyway, it's just us. We're very giving people. So, guys, since you all picked black, what colors would you like me to flip and drag? Definitely metallics. Copper. Silver and gold. Neon purple. Metallics. Metallica. I think that's special. how about raw umber. Are, all right, let's do this. How about copper? Let's do the royal ruby copper because it's a little deeper. Nate's saying pink flash. Somebody else said. Pink I'm going to do the purple flash with and pink. the copper. Kathy Holmes says, no more blue, please. <laughs> and we'll also use some gold or champagne pearl. Which one do I want? Let's go with champagne pearl because it's a little lighter. Maria says, I wish she had some royal ruby. That's um, deco art. Maria, I gotta hook you up with Artist Club so that you can order them all from one place when they're on sale. Um, I 
I think that might be good, those three colors. Because that purple flash is going to fan out to a different color, too. All right, so we're going to use a five-ounce cup. And a couple of people are saying silver and gold, too. The only problem with silver on black, when you do the flip and drag, it pretty much sinks because the silver metallic does not like to play well with black. When you're pushing it in and out of the black, it will definitely sink. Catherine Poole says she's late. Have y'all named the colors for NYE, New Year's Eve? No. We need to do that, guys, don't we? Um, so New Year's Eve, um, a, yeah, a lot of them are going to paint with us while we're painting. Mm -hmm. So let me get that list together, and I'll put it on the Parage Posse, and I'll also put it on my Christina Welch art page. So there'll be two places for you to get the list. And if you don't have Facebook, um, send me an email. So I have your email address and I'll send you the list of colors we'll be using that night. And now we're going to start that 8 p.m. 8 p.m. next Standard Monday night. Time. Yep. And we're going to go till after midnight. Alan and I are doing, and it's all creative inspiration colors. So there's only 19, I think we have. So anything basic that you have is definitely going to be the same color. We're not using any funky colors. Um, also, the only metallics we'll be using is gold, copper, and white. So those are the only three we have. Alan and I are just going to be doing flip cups and dirty pours um, because we're making all the paintings for the Parage. So. And the plan is to do 20, how many? Well, we're going to do 12. That's about all we're going to get done. But oh, we, need, do we need more than that. Do more than that. So I'm gonna start with the Royal Ruby. A little bit more. Then I'm gonna go with the champagne because I don't want the purple on the ruby. And then we'll take the purple flash. Just a tiny little swirl. Can you see how that purple is starting to sink? I hope this doesn't come out muddy. All right, I'm gonna pop it here in the middle. Oh my God, that paint's just falling off the side of the I know. I love that stuff. We have to find a way to use either the coconut milk serum or the treadmill silicone to make a spray for our cups. Okay, so I poked two holes, little ones. Let me get these out of the way because it's a bigger canvas than what I'm used to. It's already come up through the bottom of the paint, so it went down under. Are you getting some heartbeat? There goes the autofocus. It's so pretty there. I hate to go in, but I have to go in. I have to go get it and move it somewhere else. I'm going to move it this way. Because it's really pretty here. I don't want to disturb that. Hmm, looks good. Now I'm going to stretch this back and forth a little bit. Let me give it a quick torch. Sorry about the camera, guys. It has a mind of its own sometimes. There's a new one under the tree, but I don't think I can use it for lives. I have to figure out how to use it first. So 
bear with us on the new camera. So I bought myself a new one for Christmas because we were already saving um, our sponsor money. And I kicked in the rest from the auction money. So it was a good deal. And it came with software for editing and um, all kinds yes, of stuff. Yes, we have those. What's that? The breast gadgets from last week. Yeah, that's the next painting. Yes, Stephanie, the ones for next week are all going to be for the porage. Yep. We, we have a certain area of the porage that needs a little Check that out. I got, I got blue in there. Isn't that cool? I didn't use blue. It had to be the purple mixing with something. Maybe the black. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I see. It's the flash because it's flashing out on the edges. That is really cool. All right, so let me go ahead and airbrush this out. I feel like an elf. Why? <laughs> that and your little Santa apron. My little Santa apron, apron that I have not got paint on yet. Like, what size are you doing? Maybe she can contribute. We are doing 11, 11 by 14s. 14. Yep. We have two cases of them that we're going to be using. We need to prep all those, too. But I did do, what was it, 64 um, coasters yesterday. I resined. I have a few that need a second coat, but not bad. Now, when you're working with black with your airbrush, you'll see how you get those pretty little filigree edges. You have to go a little bit farther because the black will eat it right up. So you want to make sure you come back and push just a little bit more color out into those. Sometimes you'll, you know, say, oh, that looks so pretty, and you come back an hour later, and it's gone. Yeah, that purple flash makes blue. That's really cool. I'm so glad that the girls in the Parage had a little entertainment with me today while we were tracking you. <laughs> I was really bored while you was gone. And so where were all the guys from the Parage? Out um, with me shopping? I don't know. Duggar was there, I think. But tell them why you shop on Christmas Eve. You tell them why I shop on Christmas because Eve. Because you say you get the best deals on Christmas Eve. I get the steal of the deals. Mm -hmm. There's only one other time that you get really good deals, and that's Black Friday. Well, now it's not even Black Friday. It's Thanksgiving night. That's really pretty there. I don't want to touch it. Gary says, if you tilt your head to the right, it looks like a big flame on a candle or a genie being released. It does. It's the base of the, do you see it? Yep. It's the base of the bottle and here's the bottle. And, then and there's flames. the cloud coming out. Make three wishes. So you're gonna rub the base? No, but I didn't touch it either. We could call this one I Dream of Genie. <laughs> I don't name my paintings, by the way. 
I've named a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them, but I don't list them by their name either. Julie wants to know, what brand is your airbrush? Uh, this is a Master Airbrush. I have them in my Amazon shop. This is all the bigger the compressor is. So you don't need any room for um, a big tank anyway. But they're $49.96 in my Amazon shop. We've sold hundreds for Amazon. <laughs> and they're still in stock. So I'm surprised we haven't sold out. I want to hit this little part in the middle here. Welcome, Tanisha. Glad you could join us. Maria's right on it, posting the link. Thank you, Maria. I really love the way that purple blued out on the edges. I wish there was more of it down here. And it carries the shell. It's going to have to get one of the straw blowing as a pain. It is. Well, the other thing about straw blowing is... You don't get the edges you get with the airbrush. You get the loops, and you got to keep blowing and blowing. And there's a possibility to... Spitting. Spitting in your painting. Yeah. Spitting. <laughs> okay, Kathy Holmes wants to know, when using an airbrush, can you regulate the airflow, or is it the same all the time? This one is 25 PS all the time. PSI all the time. Um, they say it's adjustable. I have not played with the screw because I like it right where it's at. So not sure if, if it's adjustable. I've just never tried it. But if you're using a big compressor, you can always turn that down to 25 as well or lower, wherever you're comfortable with it. And if you're using a leaf blower, well... <laughs> You get what you get. You get what you get. <laughs> All right. Let me bring it up. You can get a close up. Let's see how that purple flash made blue edges. Carrie says, tilt your head to the left and you can see Santa. I see a reptile in that top. Looks like a fish, like the tail and the the head right here. Mm, you always find things in paintings. I don't look for them anymore because sometimes they creep me out. <laughs> that purple blue, yeah, I agree. That that just that flash is crazy. Yeah, it's fun. We have a lot of fun with the flash. Nate had a lot of fun with the flash when he was here. <laughs> and that was from Jennifer. She sent us all the colors because she's awesome like that. And I appreciate that very much because I had a hard time finding them. All right. Holly, if you join us next Monday, we'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's dry. Yep. All the paintings will be shown next Monday that we do tonight so you can see them dry. Anytime you want to see a painting dry, just shoot me an email or post it in the Paraj Posse and I'll be more than happy to upload a pic. Good evening, Gary. Glad you could join us. Guess what time it is, Alan? It's Gary time. Christmas challenge time. Well, I go first. Yes, you go first. I know now remember, I the green one is mine. I know what I'm doing with mine. Okay. Are you going to do Roman? Roman? Yeah. No, I'm not doing Roman. <laughs> do you guys watch Roman bake and cook? He is the cutest little thing. Alan and I watch him all the time and we laugh so hard. So what size canvas should we use? Oh. We don't have two the same. No, no. I, I thought we were doing like a collab on one. Oh, the oh, go ahead and you pick. I'm game for anything, so. I think we're going to go back to the 12 by 12. Okay. So you're going to, like, do the initial thing, and then I'm going to come in and play, too? You got it. All right. 
Sounds like fun. Now we did we did not discuss this before going live. Oh no, she got paint on her new Santa apron. And it's black. <laughs> Can't buy you anything without. I still think it's a kid's apron. <laughs> it says one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Not this all. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Monica likes that I said the green one is mine. <laughs> so, now who sent these to us again? It was uh, Crystal Lee. Crystal Lee. Okay, so we have these two silicone brushes. Okay, the green one is Miss Christina's. Thank you, sir. The blue one is mine. You must really love me. Why? Because you give me the one I asked for. <laughs> so we're going to go with a white base. Nate, I think you're going to really like this. Oh, boy. Nate was a very big influence on Ellen when he was here. <laughs> Bad influence or what? Do you want to show what my friend Sharon got me for Christmas? Well, you show them. Oh, here. Your, your hands are clean. It's got plastic for the moment. anyway. My friend Sharon um, brought me my gifts the other day. We exchanged gifts. And she got me... Two cool presents. Of course, the first one was my thank you, Jesus sign. And then she got me this. We have the Walking Dead clue game. Nobody wants to play it with me, though. I'm making you guys play this with me before presents get open tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so this is a collab. I'm doing the first part. Christina is going to finish up. Yep. All I'm going to do is use this to spread the base paint. Rose, do you have the game? So that's your challenge? You're spreading paint with it? I'm spreading paint to put the base paint down. And what else are you going to do with it? Well, that's your part of it. <gasps> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> He's not playing fair. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Here comes the bully. <laughs> What do yeah, you mean such you a cop me? out, Alan. <laughs> I thought you would find the humor in that. Wow. That's just me. <laughs> wow. Well. Tracking me while I'm out shopping is. Oh, so it's a karma thing. You better get it all nice and level if you think I'm coming in there to play. <laughs> you didn't find the humor in that? No, I thought I was going to go in and fix something that you screwed up. <laughs> oh. It's all right. What comes, what goes around comes around. That's right? true. If I didn't do that to you. <laughs> Just for that, I'm going to mix paint tomorrow. So you have like 50 bottles to clean. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I think I did a pretty good job on that base. I didn't. I don't think you did. Well, you have to do look a at it tilt. all. <laughs> he thinks he did a good job. You're such a silly boy. All 
Okay, so if you screw it up, I'll come in and fix it afterwards. How's that? What did you say? I said, if you screw it up, I'll come in and fix it behind you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Evelyn says it looks a little raggedy, Al. <laughs> now, come on, guys. You have to admit there was a little bit of humor in that. Looks lumpy, Alan. No, there's no lumps. That's what they're telling me. Sassy pants. <laughs> Sassy pants? Isn't that cheating when you tilted it? You need to go back in with that and brush and fix that now. So you can fix it behind me? <laughs> Texture. Um, Rose, we use a base paint, which is a 50-50 mix with water. Um, we don't use our pouring paint on the background because it's a little too thick to um, help the paint flow. And we only use um, a base paint if we're doing like a bottle bottom pour or a flip and drag or... Um, like the strainers and stuff. But when we're just doing a plain, straight, dirty pour or a flip cup, we do not use a base paint. I've only done one brush painting. And that was with Nate's challenge. Oh. Yeah, I remember that now. Okay, hon. It's all yours. <laughs> If you could read her mind right now. Nate, that was my intention to dip and slice. Well, let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, let me hit you with it first. <laughs> There, I slapped him with it. But see, I have others here I can use too. Okay, Malik is saying 15 colors. <laughs> 15 colors. Oh, that's what, that's what Nate's mixing is 15 colors tonight. All right. Challenge accepted. Crystal Lee's going to be very upset with you because you aren't challenging me enough. You didn't, I, I you think didn't I do left you with a good challenge here. <laughs> You could at least got the air bubbles out, Alan. Look at all those air bubbles. Ay, ay, ay. There's way too much paint on this canvas, too. Yeah. <sighs> okay, we're looking for some colors. It's getting scary up in here, Evelyn says. Nobody told you what to do. <laughs> oh, you're going to choose? Okay. Uh, I'm thinking what will sell out with the white really well. All right. What type of pour? I'm not doing a pour. What are you going to do? I'm going to dip and swipe it, like slice it. A deep red. Mm-hmm. Because I think, let's check it. I think the red. Make I sure just hope this, brush. does this really go down to the canvas a lot? It does. So I'm going to put some white on here first. Kendra says, mess it up and let's see Alan fix it. I know. That's what I should do. And say, okay, your turn. Kathy says, black and red. Whose idea was this? 
Hello, Darnell. Glad you could join us. Darnell, you just missed all the fun. Carrie Hamilton says red one side and green the other. So Crystal Lee sent us these two tools to do a Christmas challenge. So Alan said, I'll go first. I'm filling Darnell in yes. so she can laugh. So he put the white base paint down with his brush and said, there you go. Your turn. It's a collaboration. Because he doesn't play fair. So I'm just getting some red down because I'm going to put other colors in Nate, here. Nate's saying pour a puddle on the pad and pick it up with the brush and then splat it. Well, let me get some red on here first. Then we'll we play. Have a, we have a question here. Try not to get cells on some of my paintings, but the flow draw creates them. What else can I use yeah. on my painting? Um, sometimes just colors that go together will create cells too. It's almost impossible to not get cells. When you want them, you don't get them. Um, thin your paint out. That's the only thing I can tell you is use a thinner paint. Trina says, are you always this, wants to know if you're always this happy. Me? Yeah. Am I? No. <laughs> I laugh a lot. It keeps me sane. And I'm not even medicated. <laughs> Now, if you ask my family, they'd tell you that I'm not always in a good mood. Catherine says, this is your YouTube persona. No, I'm as real as real can be. I'm not fake. Nate knows how much I laugh. Okay, let me fix this here. Um, I have to pull that one in. All right, so now we're going to play with something else because I'm done with the red. That one didn't sell out like I wanted it to. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. She just used one of those to cover her pie with egg wash and sugar. And she said, what you're doing looks more fun. I use it for barbecue sauce. <laughs> And Holly went, so what red is that? Crimson from Soho. So I'm going to put some. Do you want me to put some yellow in it? No. I will. Oh, you're going to get your turn again. <laughs> yes, you are, mister. Sandra. Wynn is saying Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas to you as well. All right. So Nate said dip it and what? Splat it? Splat it. Oh, wow. now I felt like John. I think he meant on the canvas. Like, like Roman does. Splat it. No, I kind of like this look better. <laughs> Nate, no wonder you're going to get... Nate, is that what you meant? <laughs> no wonder you're getting black. It's kind of like room. John Beckley. That one didn't work as well. That first one was directed at me, Nate. <laughs> it's definitely going to be abstract, guys. It's either way. That was a serious splat, Nina. Oh, I'm so afraid because I dipped the other side now that it's going to shoot up and hit me in the face. <laughs> I think you should like, dab it into the... What? See, it doesn't do anything when you do that. You have oh. to... Damn, on the canvas. 
Well, and then dab it in here. There's too much white. You left too much white on there. I'll show you in a minute. Now that I've splattered black paint everywhere. Oh no, my OCD. Yes, Leanne says you jingle every time you splat. <laughs> now Nate's saying slap the canvas. Slap it. No, she's going to slap me. That's what she's going to do. <laughs> Alan's going to have a black beard when I get done with him tonight. <laughs> cover up the gray. I'm going to do it in one spot. And I'm going to show you it's not going to work because this is not going to work. Splat the canvas. I'm afraid. See? It's all white. Told ya. you. Guys don't no. believe me. I did load it up with black. Load it with black and just push down. That's black. And you think that looks good? Darnell said she sent a gadget in the mail to the fan mailbox. <gasps> <laughs> that's More your paint on the brush. That's right? that's the Alan Welch department. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sandy. I didn't see your question. Uh, let's see what did Sandy ask. Okay, I'm gonna need another color for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's so calm. He has no clue. He's it says time to swipe. No, I'm liking the splat. <laughs> My apron is pretty with all the little black speckles on it now. Nate's laughing. He says, abs, by the end of this video, are going to be, he's going to have abs by the end of the video. How about if I chain pull through it? <laughs> Boy, I am really out of my comfort zone right now. Look at Black paint splattered on my wall. Carrie says, reminds me of a Jackson Pollock painting. Episode of Dexter. Yeah. What else do I want to do with it? I want to do something else. Maybe I should say, okay, Alan, your turn. Mm -hmm. We got some, hmm. Okay, Catherine says, no more splat, just swipe. Put swipe. a flower in the middle. Yes, but what color flower? Because it's black and red. And you got to remember, we have white paint, it's so it's going to draw pastel. <clears throat> Wait, uh, Nate says green. Ugh. Maria says it's my turn. Yeah, it's Alan's turn, right? Okay, it's your turn, Alan. I should get a can of water, though. I'll wash that out. I got one. Ah, it's turn. So Kathy agrees green, too. Your pail of water. Wash those. Um, just rinse them out real quick and tap them on a paper towel so that you get the colors out because otherwise you're going to pull them black and white. Gold. I was thinking gold too, Carrie. What do you got? Darnell says orange for Trina. <laughs> Gold and green. Um, sometimes, Kitty, it'll sink just a little bit, but not a lot, no. Just on the black, you want to be careful when you're airbrushing. Good job, babe. Those were easy to clean. Uh, that's I didn't know if that's what she meant, if it would be flat. Yeah, it does. Doing a live one or two day class? Oh, Sandy, I do private sessions. Um, send me an email at Christina Welch Art at yahoo.com. I do one on ones. 
Okay, I heard somebody say they wanted to see green. Maria said, get the airbrush out or the blow dryer. <laughs> That red and the white is drawing some pinks in. The big question is, is she going to let me use her green brush? You can't use my green brush. You can use your blue brush. Jennifer says, get the leaf blower. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so green. Yeah, the golden dip. You should see my walls. I mean, your walls. <laughs> That's only a few. I have a gallon of paint. I'm covering them up. Okay, so I'm going to go with Hooker's Green. So, who is Hooker's Green? I'll show you what I was talking about with the splat. Merry Christmas, Mel. We are not drinking. I'm drinking no. sweet tea. <laughs> and I had a glass of ice water. Sandra said to drag the brush all the, or Susan said to drag the brush across the canvas all the way. So what are you dipping in green? Oh, good Lord. I'll see what the puppy wants. Does he need to go out? No, he was out. What do you want, Eddie? What do you want? No, go. Go. Go lay down. I think he just wants attention. Probably. He probably hears my jingle. Bells. Oh, Alan, what are you doing? I'm dabbing. Dippity doo da. Monica's all excited because you're using green. Harry says it's going to be mudtastic. Yep, as soon as he hits that red. How am I going to fix that? <laughs> Oh. Nina says, take two fingers and flick the bristles for little splatter spots. Well, I'll leave the splatter to you, but. I think we need to do a little tilt, or do you wanna? That's all you're gonna do? Oh no, you must continue. Continue? <laughs> Okay. Seriously. Ellen wants to know, what are you doing? <laughs> Let's see what we get with a swipe with these brushes. Ellen, if you're just joining us, um, these tools were sent to us to do a Christmas challenge. So we are on round three. Push down and twist and turn. Twist and turn. Yeah. He's got he's got too much white paint on there. Oh good lord. Yeah, well. Oh, I'm gonna fix it all right. We're going to have to play with these brushes a little more. I've only ever seen them used to like to do a little swipe on a corner or Maria's like, oh my God, that's not what I meant. <laughs> uh... All right. What do you want to? Seriously? That's where you're going to leave me? Well, I think if you do a little tilting here. Oh, 
because you said I put too much paint on the canvas. Yeah. See, I wasn't allowed to do that, though. I had to use my brush. <laughs> Monica says you're twisting eights. <laughs> Actually, I thought my crazy eights a couple weeks ago came out pretty cool. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What? Maria says she swears she's going to be her pants from laughing so hard. <laughs> Nate's drawing Christmas trees. Look at the screen. <laughs> I sure can, Trina. Okay. That was horrific. Yep. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Uh, that's why I put the base paint down. Plan B. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Stephanie. Don't freak out. We're doing a challenge here. <laughs> so let's... I'm going to end it right now. Go ahead. Not the live, but... No, I'm going to end this challenge right now. I don't want anybody freaking out either. Mo Monica's going to get her green. I'm all stressed out from shopping today, guys. <laughs> what can I say? That's not an excuse. <laughs> You're such a baby. <laughs> Throw some gold in there. Yeah, you got it. I'm doing a swipe. The struggle is real. Thinking on your feet? Thinking on my feet. You're hilarious. I have to find a way to get rid of that red. And I don't want to put more in because we'll get mud. See, a leaf blower cures all. Yeah. All that ails you. So I will use this one to get rid of this. These brushes do clean up very nice. There you go. Here's another one. Acetate. Ooh. Hey, where'd all the red go? Say good night, Irene. On. Why are you operating without gloves? Probably because you were stressing me out. Sorry. Didn't mean to stress you out. Yeah, okay. There's not enough silicone in there to bring a lot up. Swipe saves you day. Well, I wouldn't say it saved it, but it looks better than it was.
I agree, Stephanie. Very hard color combination. I'm not done with it yet. Alan, you killed a box of cloves. I'm proud of you. That means you've been painting. We got some blue. It's here and here. Hmm. Holly says string full time. Didn't you say you wanted to do something with the chain? Not no. through a swipe, I don't know. <laughs> Carrie says throw some glitter on it. Glitter fixes everything. <laughs> Nicole says get the head massager out. They're all going to scream at me now. What is she doing? <laughs> You and Nate are on the same uh... It's not very Christmassy, though. I didn't dare put red in there. People are screaming at me right now. No one's screaming. No. <laughs> yeah. Catherine Poole says, "Look like a damn unicorn." And Carrie says, she "Put her on all her clothing now. She gets excited and forgets to change her clothes whenever she paints." Oh, darn it! Got the green. Tell her what, Catherine. No, no, no. All that purple's going to sink, I think. Oh, she says she sneezed glitter. <laughs> you're not supposed to inhale that, Catherine. When you use glitter, you're supposed to wear a respirator. Sorry, Catherine, I didn't catch that. That's why I said unicorn. Sneezing glitter. Nate says, frost them flowers, Christina. <laughs> We're going to make it a challenge. We're going to make it a good one. And there's some sequins. Nate knows where I'm going with this. Mel says, glad to know that you guys can muck up too. 
<laughs> this will be available in our next auction. <laughs> Starting bid will be five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. Let the bidding begin now. <laughs> I think we should send it to Crystal Lee. <laughs> Shorty's got a serious question. Where do you get your paint? I buy it, uh, most of it from Jerry's Artorama. And I do get some from Michael's. We have a bid. Carol Johnson has five. <laughs> There. They're all sparkly now. Beth says, I've never seen your area so messy. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Beth. I take that as a compliment. Because you're an old <laughs> <laughs> There you go, guys. I fixed it the best I could. I thought you were going to draw the flowers down. Then, but... Huh? Maria's right. Your OCD is going to kick in. Oh, it already has. This has got to be the fugliest painting I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not minding the swipe at all, but you, I couldn't leave the white there because it was just way too empty. Good night, Nate. Thank you for joining us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nate. So that's where I'm leaving it because I've been tormented. Now the purple will dry darker though, so it won't be that bright when it dries. So now we need a real painting. Thank you, Monica. Guys. <laughs> Carol Johnson says, great save. Yeah. I feel like a doctor when I whip those gloves off like that. That was an old acetate sheet. That's why I'm throwing it away. I had a crack in it. No towels from this one? No. <laughs> Monica, we could have made you tiles out of that. I made... Um, I made a lot of tiles this week from all those um, videos I made. So that's one of the reasons I was resonating so many yesterday. Let's see, Jeff says charity auction it. Sandy says, blame it on Santa. Blame it on Santa. Yeah, Santa, Santa was bad. Do you want to paint or you want me to paint? I'll let you go. All right. I made a mess of that one, so. Let's do a 12 by 16 dirty pork. I'm, I'm tormented. I'm. I got you flustered. No, you got me more than flustered. I feel like I've been I'm violated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do some teals and some purples. Let's have some fun. Stay away from the blues. Carrie says, well, let's see here. Uh, Nancy, Nancy says, uh, thanks for the live yesterday. Christina so informative. Oh, good. And Carrie wants to see a string full. Well... I was going to do a chain pull. Leanne saying seamless. I can take that ocean breeze up. Huh? <laughs> Trina. Guess what Trina's calling for, huh? Orange. Trina, why? <laughs> orange, please. I bet you she bought a big jug of orange from Jerry's. <laughs> 
I used orange a lot with all my red and fiery paintings I've been doing. Carrie and Allie both said chain pull works for them. Let's do, okay, so let's do this. Let's do a dirty pour. And then we'll, or a flip cup, I mean. And we'll do a chain pull over it. Beth says blue flash. All right. So I need, I'm going to need two cups for that one. And I will spray them with the WD-40 silicone spray. Trina says just one squirt down the middle for her orange, I think. Not with I this, guess. not with this color. <laughs> I know you're just reading what she said. He looks at me like it's not my idea. <laughs> Trina, I'm just reading what. I promised Trina that I would use orange, and I did. Trina, okay, let me show you what I did. Because maybe it'll make her happy. And Rose Duca says, what is the best freezer paper or whatever? To See, use Trina, I used orange. This video will be up next week. Just for you, Trina. Just for you, Trina. Is she happy now? Okay, so let's go with some Dalarani Phalo Turquoise. Craft Smart Seamus Pearl. Deco Art Peacock Pearl. We'll top that off with some silver. Chris Freeman has joined us. He's apologizing for being late because he was with his family. Not a problem. Not Chris. a problem. This is Fine Touch Deep Violet. Oop. And this is Liquitex Brilliant Purple. Carrie's got a suggest good suggestion, too. She says she's been using the peel-off paper from the stick-on cork for tiles for skins. Oh, yeah, you could use that. And I'm going to go backwards. Thank just you, a Carrie, little bit. Suggestion. That's good for swiping on resin as well. Kitty Doc is saying double layer split cup. You know, I was going to try that too. That um, soulmate pour. It's not the paint kiss. It's the soulmate pour that Christina Brinley has on her page. Her channel. Okay. So I'm just going to flip these. And while you're looking at the colors, guys, you can try to decide what color chain pull I should do. Because I have to mix that up real quick. I probably should just do white. Grab me that um, Artisoft iridescent. And then in the black bin. No, 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 honey. Hang in. And in the black bin, I need the white from Artisoft. So I like to use um, half and half, half of the iridescent and half white paint. Like that. I'm going to get this flipped real quick for my silicones not uh, cooperating. I hear a kitty kitty. Mm -hmm. 
Using your cuppy hands? Yes, sir. I always bring my paint back to the middle before I head to a corner. That way you've got it all coming at one, one time. It's a good background for a chain pole too. I do see though, we must have got silicone on the canvas. Do you see it? In that one corner. Mm-hmm. So I have to rub it really hard. Teaching moment. To get it off. And then we'll try pushing it again. That worked. That fixed it. So you wanna explain what you did there real quick? I had um, silicone resistance, so it meant I had silicone on the canvas. So the paint did not stick there. So I went in and rubbed it as hard as I could and re-poured over that to get that silicone off. And I think I'm gonna Everybody go. Everybody's saying they're liking it just the way it is. I know, I like it just the way it is too and I haven't even torched it yet. Good night, Kathy, Merry Christmas to you. And just the way it is. No, this is that beautiful. So do you think I should just leave it and not do a chain fault? Catherine says I'd leave it. It's nice. Man says jellyfish. Yep, they tell me leave it. Leave it. <laughs> well, but you promised a chain fault. I got ten minutes. I can do it on Another canvas, yeah. yeah. Everybody's saying, leave it, leave it, so pretty. Monica says, black flash the chain pull. Trina says, pull. I don't think I want to pull. But Maria says, she can do another chain pull and something else. Yep. So while I'm taking care of this, do you want to oh, throw some float trowel in there just to get it smooth? Just a little bit to get it smooth, get it flowing. Let's see how well you do this. Yeah, since I botched the last one. You botched what? The challenge. Ooh. While he's doing that, I have to pull it once again. <laughs> it's just too pretty. We should teach Ellen how to do a chain pull. I got to get that head massager working first. Are you whipping out? I'm going to get my brain cells. Everything else is too close in color. Chris says he might buy that one if it's in the auction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maria wants to know what size do you cut your photo paper for your skins? Um, they were like what four by three maybe. The ones that I got were I think that they were four by sixes, so I cut them in half. So four by three. I'll put that in the wrong place. Everybody wants to buy this in an auction too. Says, I want that painting also, Darnell. It looks like painting <laughs> more. My granddaughters, yes, because most of our Monday night paintings go in the auction. Um, yeah, I thought you said just a dab. And you know, I don't want it like, like our pouring paint. Yeah, this is like ice cream. Like stirred ice cream. I like it like pudding. 
so it sticks to the chain. Oh, it's going to stick. And Jasmine wants to know what type of paper was that? Photo paper. That's available at your um, dollar, dollar store. Yeah, you get like this, I think it's satin or gloss will work. You don't peel it off, though. You'll cut that entire paper for your jewelry or whatever you're making, bracelets or whatever. Says for elbows and wrapping paper, tape and bows. She said she needed you. I would love to help you wrap. I love wrapping presents. I spent two days out here. I used, I used the whole studio. I had bows and boxes and ribbons and paper everywhere. So Porage is now a... Uh, Wrapping central. Yep. That's okay. You're going to carry it all upstairs tomorrow. Leanne wants to know, why is the paint consistency always yummy food references? Because everybody knows that reference. I don't know. Okay, the consistency of body wash. Every body wash is different, right? And know. we like treats, too. I say pudding. You like pudding and ice cream. Yeah. Okay, so this is Payne's Gray with um, gunmetal metallic paint mixed in. So it has a little shimmer to it. Carrie says a warm color chain full. Good night, Sandy. Thank you for joining us. Merry Christmas. I hope everybody that was home alone tonight was getting a chuckle out of us. Uh, Jasmine wants to know, do you ship the airbrush set to OZ? Um, that's all through Amazon. They do all of the shipping. So if you have um, Amazon for your area, I don't have that set up for that. That's the problem. I'm still working on. Um, they sent me the information to do it worldwide, but I just haven't added the countries yet. I really need to get working on that. Well, thank you, guys. Sandy says, love you guys. And Carrie says, you two are awesome. Thanks. Kitty, Kitty says she's home alone, but had an awesome time so far. Good. We would have just been sitting around watching TV, so that's what we normally do on Christmas Eve. We usually, this is well, much more fun, isn't it? It's more fun, and I still get to watch my white Christmas movie after we're done, so it's, I'm sure it's on at midnight. <laughs> would you like to check your TV? Surely. Merry, or, uh, Merry Christmas, Leanne. So thanks for all you do. And you are so very welcome. Perfect, Alan. This is what you want, guys, for pulling. You want that thicker, I call it pudding, because it sticks to your chain better, and that way you get more color on there. So I'm going to use a ball chain. I have one already here. Ooh. I need a glass of water, Alan, to dip the chain in when I'm done. Okay. That one says more fun than a barrel of monkeys. This is a new gadget. A barrel of oh, God. Don't you guys. <laughs> Don't encourage him. Don't encourage him at all. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to get it down in there. I always run it against the skewer. And I'm hitting the microphone. Sorry. I got a pain on that mic. I got to move the microphone. All right, let's do abstract. Let's not like go for flowers, or do you guys want flowers? No, let's go abstract. Yeah? Abstract. Sue Jansen wants to know Have you ever put a skin on a wet pour to sink the edges? A skin on a wet pour. Oh, did like incorporate it in your wet pour? Um, if it's on paper, I wouldn't. But if it's just paint, 
Uh, no, it's fine. If it's just paint, you could. It should sink down in. I don't know how far it's going to sink in, though. Everybody was calling. Well, Carrie was calling for a wreath. Everybody else is calling it abstract. Well, thank you, Kitty. Appreciate your support. She donated to via PayPal. Thank you. Pay off the camera. <laughs> that, that's Tina's favorite story or uh, Christmas story. That's your uh, favorite White Christmas? Christmas? No, Christmas story. No, it Where isn't. Ralphie shoots his eye out. No. I like White Christmas. There's a reason that I like that movie, though, because it reminds me of Jacob when he was younger. He had the same glasses and the same attitude. Okay. Almost. Almost. That was almost. Trouble. Disaster. See, and I'm not using any silicone, but yet I'm getting cells. I don't trust myself around that microphone. Carol Caskey said she's been working with her having a white Christmas Eve or not. Aww. I miss snow on Christmas. Ooh. There, there, Carrie says it looks like an abstract horse. And from their point of view, actually it looks like yeah. a praying mantis to me. It does look like a praying mantis, yeah. Kitty wants to know what type of chain and yarn do you use? <clears throat> this is the beaded chain like you buy for ceiling fans, the ball chain. And on the yarn, I use all different um, weights of yarn. Um, four ply right up to the big chunky stuff. It all makes it different, so just play. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch the differences. Uh oh, I lost my chain in the paint. <laughs> Good thing you're wearing gloves. Sue Jansen says, this is like the best Christmas Eve ever, you guys. Well, thank you, Sue. We are here to entertain. Uh, Jody wants to know, what is the length of chain you're using? Uh, this is probably two feet. The canvas is 20. So, all right, so let's say 26. Nicole, thank you for joining us. Have a Merry Christmas. Nicole Johnson's leaving. I had to go cough. I have a tickle in my throat. I have to turn it because I want to get something on that other side to pull down through. But if you look, when you use the Payne's Gray, it pulls that blue base of the Payne's Gray, which makes it so much prettier. Good night, Valerie. Go spend time with your friend and have a Merry Christmas. Why, Thank why you for is, joining us. Did you not let the cat in? He's okay. sitting here meowing at the window right next to my ear. <laughs> He's yeah, like, it's, you have such a great eye. He's going to what? Love the oh. <laughs> He's nimble. He's a kitty. Yeah. Okay. 
leap over the pails. <coughs> okay. There. I had to get a clean paper towel. That one was nasty. A lot of times if you use the pour paint on these, it'll sink. And you'll just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. So the thicker the paint and the more you leave on your chain or your yarn stays on the canvas better. Carrie's got a good question for you. Has your cat ever walked across any of your paintings? No. He's an outdoor cat. He only comes in to eat and take a nap once in a while. And he brings me presents. Yeah, we won't Bunnies and squirrels, squirrels and... Good night, Trina. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us and all you do for us. Good night, hon. I'll send you Monica's address. I want to pull through this to just to break that up a little bit. And that way I brought some more of that blue up instead of having those big shades of white there. One more, I think. I need to fix something here. I was saying, I think it, well, the end and Maria are saying, I think it's perfect. I know, but I don't like this. I'm just going to take a piece of the chain and just pull it into into this. I think I'll swoop it here and pull it into that line and then pull it up. Because I don't like that splatter look there. A couple people are saying pull one right down the middle. Carrie and... Towards Matt. me? Towards me, you guys? I think, I think they're talking one way. The length of the canvas, the tw the what was it twenty inches or the short, the ten or the twenty, <laughs> lengthwise, carries in. So do my loop here and go down. Nina says thank you for mentioning that about the paint being thicker for the poles would explain her issues. Could be, yep. Yep, there's a middle of the campus. You guys, I never say my way is the right way to do it. I just say what works for me. I would never say, well, if you're not doing it my way, you're not doing it right. I would never say that to you. Let me get a loop in there, though, because we're going to break it up now. like that line now. <laughs> I like this. What happened here? If I do a loop and pull this way, I might be able to fix it. Well, now I was saying, uh, I was slacking. I wasn't paying attention. Maria's like, no, go from the side where you originally said. Yeah, I was going to lift it before I got all the way down to the end. I was going to stop right here and pull it up. I can fix that though. I'll do a loop here and pull it right here and we'll be done. That'll, that way it'll blend with what's going there. I think. I'll try. Oops, I got water on there. Easily fixed. If I pronounce your name wrong, I'm sorry. I believe it's Havalia. She says she's new to the channel. Everything was beautiful. Thanks for a fun Christmas Eve. And she says, you two are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. We're a lot of fun. Let's say that. We try to. You should live with us because we're a lot of fun. 
<laughs> he gives me this look. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen his face. It's like, no. <laughs> when does the fun begin? <laughs> Tomorrow, right? Tomorrow when we have to cook a turkey dinner. Oh, uh, yes. For us, yeah. Prime rib was easy, guys. I just pop it in the oven and make my shrimp scampi and then broil it. And that was easy. <laughs> Okay. Now. Monica says she's moving. Kitty says she's moving in. <laughs> there. Good enough? It's very busy. It's very busy. It's messy. Marie says she's going to sleep upstairs with the boxes. <laughs> she could be part of my hoard. <laughs> I'm purging January. Yeah, okay. I am. I already have people that have offered to take things for me to Goodwill. Good night, Kim. Good night, Cecilia. Merry Christmas. I'm so sparkly from that iridescent. I don't know if you guys can see how it sparkles. It's so pretty. <clears throat> All right. Let me touch up some spots here. So you guys saw how thick that white is when I use it. Let me give you a little close up. But see how it pulls that blue? It just, and when it dries, it's really pretty. The purple lake from Creative Inspirations pulls other colors too. But this could be hung that way. I'm looking at it from this direction yeah so i like it better this way kitty says she's only four feet eight and a half inches she won't take up much room <laughs> okay off to the drying room So does anybody have any questions? It's question answer time. It's question and answer time. We need to put that in a, another container. Carrie says, thank you for the chain pull. Sure. This is gorgeous. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm so glad everybody could join. Me too. You a lot of people come tonight. I, was thinking, I told Alan, we'll be lucky if we have 40 people. Well, at one oh, time, we had 120. I, I told her, we, we've got a lot of, a lot of dedicated followers. Our loyal fans. Our loyal fans. Shorty wants to know. Oh, never mind. Oh. Our moderators will take care of that. Yes, we have the best moderators, too. Jasmine says, thank you, and it's been great watching you and such lovely banter. Yes, we like to banter. Yeah, we banter I don't bully him. I'm just telling you, I don't bully him. This is how we interact with each other. It's all in fun. We don't get mad at each other. If I'm mad at him, he wouldn't be out here. <laughs> he would be banned from the porage. But, yeah. So, if anybody thinks I'm bullying him, think whatever you want. Right, Al? Kitty says, yay, she got a new sub. She got six. She has a channel. Oh, that's right. She has a channel. Oh. Yeah, that chain spot. So, 
So, guys, it was so much fun to spend Christmas Eve with you. Um, we have a lot coming up in January. Alan and I bought a planner to hang up on the wall so when we get ideas, we can just write them down. Uh, Jody got a question. She says she's having trouble with her resin. She says, I paid close attention to the edges and it looks like the resin did not stick. What am I doing wrong? Are you cleaning with alcohol before you resin? You have to get that silicone off. Also, make sure you're wearing gloves when you're cleaning because when you turn that tile, let's say you're cleaning with alcohol and you turn that tile right there, your hand has touched the edges. If your hand has any oil in it, it's going to be on that tile. And make sure you're putting enough resin on. Um, we measured this out when we were doing them yesterday. You, it was half an ounce will cover, but if you really want to flood it and try to get away with one coat, I would go with about three quarters of an ounce. And an ounce is only this much. This little tiny cup. That little bit covers. Now you just did a live on Facebook yesterday. Yeah, I did a live on Facebook yesterday. On how to resin the tiles. Yeah, how to resin them and how much to use. Check that out. If you're a member of the Porage, um, check it out. It's there. If you're not a member, go ahead and join. And you can watch the video. I had Maria leave it up. Uh, Nicole says, thank you. Two weeks ago, I'd never heard of any of this kind of painting. Now I've been binge watching all kinds of videos, including <laughs> yours. Thanks for all the ones. We have a lot of videos out there. I numbered them, but we have many, many more that weren't numbered. That, all our uh, lives are not numbered. Huh? The lives are not yeah, numbered. Yeah, the lives are not numbered, and certain tutorials are not numbered, and um, certain gadgets that I've played with in the past are not numbered. Our challenges are not numbered. So we have, I would say we have a good 400 videos on our channel. The Porage is a magical place. It's a magical place. <laughs> yeah, it's magical. We don't have any elves out here to do any cleaning, though. But I get that done on Mondays when my cleaning lady's cleaning my house. I'm out here cleaning. And prepping for Monday Night Lives. So, yeah, if, you have, any, if you have any ideas for Monday Night Lives, um, shoot them to us. I do write them down. It doesn't mean we'll get to them that week, but um, I owe Trina another orange painting for sure. Uh, Sue Jansen wants to know, is there a spray resin or sealer? Um, there is not a spray resin. Um, for tiles, we recommend the Duplicolor Engine Enamel. Now, there is two. Rust-Oleum has a high heat one as well. This is 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure if coffee cups would stick to that or not. And then Duplicolor has a gloss one. This says 500 degrees. So this is much cheaper than this one. But you can try either one of those. Jo Jody said she's watched all the videos on resin and cleaning. And I think she just had one more question. She said it was a 10 by 20 canvas, too. So the edges was what she was having yes, trouble with? Okay. Like, so here's the thing. On a 10 by 20, let me grab this one, for instance. Let's say you get your resin on there. The first thing the resin is going to do, because it's heavy, it's going to puddle in the middle. So go ahead and get that first coat on. Try to get it on as thin as you can. So like push it off the edges to keep it thin. On the second coat, cut a piece of foam board or cardboard to go here. That fits in here. You don't have to have it perfect. Um, set it up on cups when you do that next coat of resin so that it'll go over. After about eight or nine hours, you can take it off the cups um, the resin is still going to be soft. It's not going to be rock hard for at least 72 hours. So if it's mounding like this when you take it off those cups, that's still fine. Because the minute you take it off, it's going to start to rest itself back down. 
and that's the best way to get your end your edges covered. That's what I've been doing, and they just it just rolls right over the edges. Um, what Nate does, um, he tapes the edges off and pours his resin in, and then after about six hours, I think he said six hours, he pulls the tape and lets the resin roll over the edges because it's already starting to set up, so it's really thick and tacky. So it shouldn't um, skip then unless you have silicone. So try try the one, like I said, with the cardboard first. Um, if you're still needing to put another coat on, you might want to pay special attention to your paintings when you're cleaning them. Um, I make okay. sure that mine are really clean before I put any resin on them. And I don't touch them with my hands before I put resin on them. Make sure you have gloves on. Good night, Kendra. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Kendra. Thanks for coming, hon. And night. modding. <laughs> Good night, Robin. Merry Christmas. Glad we made your night. Marcy's in the house. Wishing everybody a Merry Christmas. Hello, Marcy. Merry Christmas to you. Marilyn's got a question. Uh, have you ever used alcohol inks? In painting, no. In resin, yes. I'll show you. Oh, it is an obstacle course over here. Merry Christmas to you, Carrie. Glad you could join us. So I've been playing with alcohol inks, too, in my silicone molds. But you put them in the mold. The molds are like this, and you're doing your alcohol inks. But when you take them out, this is really the side that you would normally use for a coaster. So they look totally different. But you get that... Oh, I can't see it. It's like a 3D effect where you can see the ink shoot down through the resin. But it's so much fun to play with. The thing with that, though, this is when I put sparklies in from Stone Coat. And these are all sparkly. Um, when you put a drop of color in, you have to follow it with a drop of the white ink to have it to go down to give you that. Uh, blossom look, I call it, where it blossoms out. It's really cool, though. I wish you could see that. Oh, it isn't going to focus in on that at all. Nope. No silly questions, Nina. She mm -mm. asks a silly question. She says, what is your favorite color? My favorite color? Um, Prussian blue. Followed by olive green. Carrie says she's really glad we did the live tonight. She says she didn't bring any paint to her parents' house. And she was jonesing for some painting action. <laughs> well, I have videos getting loaded every day from now until January 3rd, 4th, 3rd or 4th. So every day there's a video. If there's not a video, we're live. Um, I did sneak a video in today because I learned how to put two videos together. So <laughs> it was an older video that I didn't get to upload before because my camera had shut off. So I did get that up today. But we will have one tomorrow and we will have one Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then, and, and then we live Monday. You're going to post the colors that we're going to be using? Yes, I have to do that. I'm going to do that tonight. I will write them down. And um, I'll probably have videos right up through next Wednesday. And that's got to be Nate dinging me. Okay. <laughs> um, Kitty says, I've seen your video, but you didn't mention if you use this, if you use a spray on the varnishing. Um, you can use a spray varnish. I use Windsor and Newton, Windsor and Newton spray varnish from Michaels. I get it with my 50% off coupon. I, I very rarely spray a painting unless it's somebody that wants it immediately. Um, you know, that's local or something, or if 
Ellen's giving it away as a gift, I make sure I get it sprayed real quick. Because varnish really needs to cure for a week before you do anything with it. Okay. Anything you want to touch base on? No. The Parage Posse? Yeah, our Parage Posse. I got my sweatshirt and I got my coffee cup. Where's your coffee cup? It's in the house. I thought you brought it up. Uh-uh. My sweatshirt's in the dryer. I just washed it. So, um, they're fun, guys. They're they're fun little things to have. I can't wait to wear it out in public and see if anybody says, "Hey, do you watch her?" <laughs> I'll say, "I am her." <laughs> We've been noticed. I've been noticed, and people have heard my voice, and they notice me. So, we must have some locals watching that maybe aren't subscribed. I don't know, but. We have almost 54,000 subscribers, so who knows who's subscribed that's local. Um, if anybody, the open invitation for New Year's Eve. Yes, if you want to come paint with us and you can get here on New Year's Eve, you are more than welcome to come paint with us. Just contact you through the uh, email. Whatever. Comment below, whatever. Just let me know that you want to come and I'll get you my address and... We're just going to be paint slayers that night. We are going to be throwing paint all over the place. That's right. We're mixing up. Splat. We're mixing Splat. up what? Half gallons? I don't know. Half gallons of each color. So, yeah. Darnell's got a question for you. She said her varnish pooled today and she thinks it got too thick. Have you ever had that happen? Not with varnish. You've got to put it on really thin. And when you load that brush up and you're going in or if you're putting it on the canvas, that's you want to be very careful. You want to get it as thin as possible. I always say th three very thin coats will give you a perfect finish without brush marks. Carrie says you have a very distinctive voice. I do. Didn't somebody tell you something about your voice? <laughs> I should have been a phone sex operator. <laughs> <laughs> then I giggle, so I'm a giggler. When I used to take line dance lessons, she always knew it was me in the back. She'd say, I hear you giggling. <laughs> good night, Monica. Good night, Maria. Good, good night, night my girls. Yes, good night. Uh, we're going to head in. and I got pr presents to wrap. You got presents to wrap. I'm going to go watch White Christmas. I'm sure it's on. Container, not, containers to clean. No, not tonight. I've got all week to do that. So thanks so much for watching, guys. We love you all. And we are doing a live again. Next Monday. New, Monday. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Starting at 8 p.m. Eastern yep, Standard starting Time. Starting at 8, and we will not be drinking. Maybe we might have a little toast at midnight, but we will not be drinking, just so you know. You guys can drink. We don't care. <laughs> That's right. I don't want to get all giddy and crazy. and I might get louder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. Wishing me a happy birthday. Yep. And your birthday's the day after Christmas. My birthday boy. Sucks. Julie wants to know, do you ever do classes? I do private classes here. Um, I call them one-on-one -on -one workshops. I charge um, $50 for two hours. And you do two paintings. You learn how to mix the paint. Um, we do a flip cup and a dirty pour. And you leave the paintings here, and I finish them for you, and you can pick them up in two and a half weeks. Cindy Johnson's got a question. Is it possible to get fuzz or hair out that dried in the resin? No. Mm -mm. You're going to have to sand it down and put another coat on. Maria wants to know, when is the next auction? The end of January. I think we'll have everything caught up and have my books done by the end of January. I'm going to start my books next week, so, yeah. Okay, well, I think it's about time to wrap it up. Yep. In more ways than one, no pun intended. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> I didn't get it till just now. <<laughs> I'm a slow learner. <laughs> so, good night, all. Like Merry to Christmas to Merry all, Christmas. and to all a good night. Bye now. Good night.